half a mile from Burnham, near Dunkeld in Perthshire, you will find the new tile beat on the Mid Tay. And for one week at the end of May in 2013, that beat belonged to Mr Dobson's party. Is it a nice part of the world? Well, yeah, you'd have to say it is. Is it a nice river? Well, yeah, you'd have to say that too. He was looking across from the far bank, looking upstream from the trap, looking upstream from the Christmas tree, and even further upstream from the Christmas tree, and then downstream through the trap, past the ash tree towards the boil on the corner, and round the corner to the steps. The wading, well, it's what you might call challenging, but it's not horrendous like you find on some parts of the spear and the ribble. But felt soles and wading sticks, definitely a good idea. And if you fall out of the car in the car park, you might well end up next to the hut. The colour of the hut provokes a range of responses. I love them because I'm an artist, especially with the sun in the morning. But most people wonder how they actually got planning permission to paint it that way. But it's a great hut and it's the focal point for the fishing and the crack. And if you get some of this, you might need some of this. And on this board there's a pin for every fish caught this year. And you can see where they were all caught. When I asked Andy the Gilly why some of the pins were red and some were blue, he said that he started using blue pins, and when he ran out of them, he started using red ones, so ask a silly question. And then it's onto the boats. When the water's up, an outboard motor makes life easy for Andy. But when it drops down, got more work to do. And then there's the expert advice and plenty of equipment to borrow and try out. And here's Andy trying to teach his grandma to suck eggs. But Brian Smith's taken in every word and that's why he's caught a frightening number of salmon over the last 50 years. When everyone settled, here's Andy with a smart snap tea cast opposite the hut. And then the party starts. And here's Mr. Peter Dobson with the left handed double spear. He's absolutely fly only, unless the conditions demand. Obviously. Well, fly only most of the time anyway. And then there's Mr Bob Robinson from Carlisle, looking a bit confused. And the net's bigger than he is. He hates spinning too. Oops. And we've got Mike McDermott from Carlisle too. No, he really does hate spinning. So it's a good job he casts a nice fly line. Dave Elton from Chorley, well, he's okay with spinning. And so is Brian Smith. Mainly because this happens a lot when he's spinning. But best hide the maggots because he's from Lancashire. And then there's me, Mr. Howard Jackson from St. Helens, and I love spinning. I also love fly fishing, 
Give me a 19 foot green heart rod, kingfisher grease line, 3 inch copper tube and I'll cast to the other side of the tay any day. So it's really frustrating when there's no one there with a the camera to film it. Oh and I tell lies too. But moving on, here's Peter with a 13 pound fish on the fly. And Andy Gunn, head gilly on the new tile, with a net. Fish is weird in the net. And there's time for a quick photograph for the blog. And then it goes back to fight another day. And then it's back to me. And over the week a lot of this. In places like this. Eventually led to this. But who's the daddy? Well that would be Bob Robinson. Frozen shoulder, badly cut hand, vibration blue finger from too much winding, all forgotten with the arrival of the best fish of the week. Brand new sea lice 16 pound caught on an X100 or an H20 or an Exocet or one of those newfangled lures anyway. 20 quid each? You've got to be joking. What's wrong with the Devon? Caught four, lost two and a couple of bumps. Which is a bit of a surprise really because he hardly catches anything at Carlisle. Sour grapes, who me? It's almost ready for the off. But we need a final look before it disappears again forever. <laughs>